معكم دكتور احمد خطيب سبيشالست في تل ميديسن اند الترا ساوند ان جينيكولوجي عين شمس يونيفرستي ماترنتي هوسبيتال ذا ساينتفيك دايركتور اوف ذا ايجيبشن في تل ميديسن فاونديشن النهارده هنتكلم على الالترا ساوند ان جينيكولوجي اكويك ستورت يعني بمعنى ان احنا هنتكلم على البيزكس اللي حضرتك المفروض تكون اوير بيها قبل ما تبتدي تعمل جينيكولوجيكال الترا ساوند Uh, what are our objectives from this lecture is to understand uh, a systematic approach to perform uh, the gynecological ultrasound scans uh, either uh, abdominal or transvaginal. Our key points are will you start by the transabdominal or the transvaginal or you will perform them both? Uh, what are the probe orientation? How to get the proper orientation? Uh, what are the steps to perform a gynecological ultrasound scan and how accurately to assess the pelvis, the female pelvis during the ultrasound scan. Uh, we should know the relevant anatomical landmarks of the female pelvis in order to assess uh, the uh, uh, genital tract of uh, the female uh, patients during ultrasound, uh, during gynecological ultrasound. Uh, pelvic floor, urinary bladder, uterus, uh, adenexi, uh, rectal sigmoid, and the perineum. Okay, this is the normal uh, illustrative diagram of the uh, female pelvis. Uh, this is the sempsis pupus, and behind the sempsis pupus you will find the urinary bladder and urethra. Behind the urethra you will find the uterus, cervix, and vagina, and Behind them, you will find the rectal sigmoid and the anal canal. Okay, this is a sagittal section. This is a cut section, longitudinal cut section of the female uh, pelvis. If you rotate this illustrative image upside down, you will find this image. So, here is the anterior of the patient, the sensus pupus, the urethra, the urinary bladder, vagina, cervix, uterus, anal canal, recto sigmoid. And this is the ultrasound image for the same region. You will find that this is the urethra behind the sensus pupus. This is the urinary bladder, uterus, cervix, vagina, and anal canal with the recto sigmoid. You can compare this illustrative image of the anatomy with the ultrasound image you can get. What are the relevant methodology? First of all, you should know why you will perform this ultrasound scan. What are the indications? And you will go through these indications through the clinical interview you will make with the patient. Okay, how to perform the uh, ultrasound scan? Will you perform it by the transabdominal route or transvaginal route or transrectal, transperineal route? Or you will combine the transabdominal with one of the uh, remaining uh, routes? And when you will perform this ultrasound scan, what are the optimum uh, 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 times or what is the optimum time to perform the ultrasound scan according to, uh, uh, according to the findings you are searching for. So, here is the sagittal section of the female pelvis by the transvaginal root and as we illustrate before, this is the urethra here, and this is the urinary bladder, and this is the anal canal, uterine body, cervix, vagina. You can see in this little clip what we illustrate before in the uh, anatomical uh, illustrative diagram. Here is the urethra, here is the urinary bladder, fundus, uterine body, endometrial cavity, cervix, vagina, anal canal. Okay, here we go. 
at the beginning you have to introduce yourself to the patient you have to inform the patient about the uh, 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 the exam what you will uh, do exactly and the in, the informations you gather through your ultrasound scan uh, stand by the side of the patient cover the patient uh, correctly and properly starts transabdominal then use the other route you will combine uh, with the transabdominal and the first route uh, of choice to combine with the transabdominal route is the transvaginal uh, route unless there is a contraindication to do a transvaginal ultrasound you can uh, um, you can use uh, other routes such as the transperineal or the transanal routes record as much as images and clips as you can this is very important and crucial uh, setting of the machine uh, طبعا احنا تكلمنا على المشين سيتنجز قبل كده وما ينطبق in general هينطبق على الالتراساوند سكين ان جينيكولوجي ف you you will adjust the frequency in order to uh, obtain the uh, high resolution image or the most informative image uh, adjust the angle to reduce the angle as much as you can the depth to reduce the depth as much as you can the gain you will adjust the gain according to your preferences uh, the focus you will obtain i prefer i would prefer and uh, uh, other experts in the uh, ultrasound field prefer the single focus in order to increase the frame rate and uh, improve the image quality so use single focus and manipulate the focus to the region of interest you will scan zooming option uh, this is according to your preference and i would not prefer to use uh, the zooming option especially uh, uh, in the intermediate range machines and of course in the basic machines so why we shall start by the abdominal route first because it gives you a rapid overview of the female pelvis uh, uh, illustrate the anatomical relations some anatomical relations and uh, the most important point is not to miss a pelvic abdominal pathology which easily could be missed if you start by the transvaginal and didn't perform the transabdominal uh, route and it doesn't take it didn't take uh, much of time in few seconds or one minute you will perform the transabdominal uh, scan and it gives you some familiarity with the patient so the ultrasound scan has a lot of uh, interactive issues you can uh, observe during scan these organs you are going to scan uh, are they mobile, fixed, tender? Is there any prostalysis? As we can see here, this is an ovary in the ovarian fossa, and this is the iliac vessels. And behind the ovary, there is a, a moving uh, structure. This is the prostalysis of the bowel. Okay. Here is the urinary bladder and urethra with the lumen perfectly viewed. No signs of any pathology in the urethra or the urinary bladder and here is a transvaginal ultrasound scan illustrating uh, the adenexa the uterus the cervix and plenty of fluid in the pelvis this clip is a transabdominal scan for the uh, previous uh, patient we can see the fluid reaching up to the uterine fundus Okay, the longitudinal section of the uterus, this is the longitudinal section of the uterus, and you can measure the length, the anteroposterior diameter, and the endometrial thickness in this uh, view. The depth, as you can see here, the depth is uh, increased, and we can decrease the depth to reach this image, which could be the optimum one. Your orientation should be uh, uh, perfectly done and you have to be properly oriented during your ultrasound scan. This is the knob and this is the sagittal section. If you have the transvaginal transducer with the knob uh, uh, anterior, so you will find that 
the this uterus is AVF uterus and here is the representative knob for the uh, ultrasound transducer if you have the ultrasound transducer with the knob uh, anterior this is an RVF uterus to get the transverse section you will rotate the transducer 90 degrees anti-clockwise anti then uh, uh, tilt probe from the fundus to the cervix or you can sweep uh, the transducer from uh, the fundus uh, down to the cervix in order to scan the uterus in an axial section from upside down how to localize the ovaries after evaluating the uterus on the axial and transverse section uh, tilt the transducer slightly lateral and slide slowly toward the lateral fornix to reach the ovarian fossa and our anatomical landmark for the ovarian fossa is the iliac vessels slide up and down till you visualize the ovary and go back to the transverse section then to the other side you will get the other ovary and assess the other adenex again the orientation if you have this knob on this side of the screen and your transducer uh, uh, in an axial section with the knob towards the right side of the patient so what you will visualize here will be on the right side of the patient and what you visualize here will be on the left side of the patient use your hands you have two hands one hand holding the transducer and the other hand you can use it uh, uh, to uh, get some structures near nearer to the ultrasound transducer to fix some uh, structures you want to scan uh, to know uh, uh, if there is any uh, tenderness uh, above some scan structures palpate a mass bring the uterus towards the transducer so the transvaginal scan is a dynamic and interactive pressure and retraction of the probe allows you to assess the mobility elasticity of certain, of certain structures of scan structures as well as tenderness of uh, uh, the imaged structures this is the 3d ultrasound scan of a, a uterus uh, bring you the with a single sweep all uh, uh, scanning planes the sagittal the axial as well as the coronal and the reconstructed image this is crucial and very informative in certain situations like uh, uh, mullerian uh, anomalies and uh, ectopic pregnancy so at the end of this presentation i will give you the standard images of the uh, ultrasound scan in gynecology the longitudinal or sagittal section of the uterus in which you will measure the length and posterior diameter and the endometrial thickness the axial plane of the uterine fundus which gives you a clue about the uh, uh, the endometrial cavity either it is normal or abnormal uh, and the coronal section it's hard to be uh, obtained uh, by the ordinary 2d ultrasound by uh, by 3d it's very easy to get the coronal uh, section and it is very crucial in certain situations as we mentioned before the ovaries you will get the ovary uh, in a plane which is parallel to the uh, uh, iliac vessels and in such plane you can measure the lens and the anteroposterior if you rotate the transducer 90 degrees you will get the uh, uh, transverse uh, plane and you can get the ovarian volume by these three uh, diameters and you and uh, the left ovary the same as the right one uh, you can contact me on uh, my email and youtube channel linked in account uh, to uh, receive your suggestions your inquiries uh, it will be very helpful to me and to uh, to you for the next uh, uh, presentations inshallah thank you very much